Good evening, everyone. And as I look across the stadium right now, I can't help but feel this, this sense of pride and just walking in. I wish that everybody could experience the walk to see how wonderful you all look. All the moms and dads, the grandmothers, the grandfathers, the cousins, all the family, those that travel from afar to be here, just to walk past you all and feel that love and that pride and just to know how much you care about our graduates. And then to look across the sea of purple and see the class of 2023 and everything that this group of students has fought for. If you, if you think about the work that they put in, you think back to their freshman year, when March hit, well, world pandemic hit, and everything that they knew turned upside down overnight. But let me tell you something about these students. They were resilient, they overcame obstacles, they adjusted, they did what they had to do to perform. Their entire sophomore year was remote. Their junior year was a combination. And that was coming back to getting used to being around one another again. Then their senior year comes, and then here we are. But I want to tell you, students, as your superintendent, I am proud of each and every one of you for the hard work that you put in, for your ability to get things done without feeling sorry for yourselves, for your ability to grind and push and never give up. And I look across, and I see some of the faces here, and and I see how hard you competed, not only in the classroom, but I saw some of you all on the football field, on this very football field. Some of the cheerleaders, some of the steppers, the band, the choir, the orchestra, the one-act play. Even our barbecue team we got going on this year worked hard. But you look at all the robotics competitions, the esports, and everything that you all did on top of your classwork. And to be where you are today, Man, let me tell you, I got three little ones in the district right now. They're going into fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. And I hope they grow up to be just like you all because you're tough. And what I want to remind you of is that you can compete with anybody anywhere, regardless of what you want to do, regardless of whether you're going to start a business or get a master's or a doctorate or a license or a certificate or an associate's, whatever it is that you're going to do, McAllen ISD has prepared you to compete. McAllen ISD has prepared you to take care of business. McAllen ISD has prepared you to go out there and get after it. We know that you have the capacity to do that. And to the moms and dads, just wanted to give you all a thumbs up for a job well done. You sure did raise some wonderful young men and women. We're very, very proud of them and we're very, very proud of you. Students, how about a round of applause for your outstanding families? And I did want to leave you with a couple of pieces of advice. Number one, hard work works. Hard work works. And you've already proven to be hard workers. You've proven to have the capacity to take care of business. You've proven to have the capacity to earn your high school diploma. You've proven to have the capacity to take care of business, not only in the classroom, but I know how hard you worked outside the classroom. So hard work works. Number two, you got to have the ability to stay focused. Sometimes life's going to throw you a curveball, just like that world pandemic. You all stayed focused. Sometimes life's going to be good. Sometimes it's going to throw you a challenge. Sometimes you're going to get your heart broken. Sometimes things aren't going to go your way. Stay focused. And the best way I know how to do that, the best advice I can give you, is what you've been studying in McAllen ISD along the way, and that's your emotional quotient. Don't ever forget the importance of emotional intelligence. Don't forget the importance of being self-aware, having the capacity to self-regulate your emotions, being able to stay motivated, have empathy and social skills. Don't forget the importance of emotional intelligence. You've already proven that you're book smart, but you gotta be people smart and you gotta be self-smart. And finally, for the rest of your life, as long as you're on this planet, do everything that you can to make your mom and your dad proud of you. Do everything in your power to make your mom, your dad, your grandmother, your grandfather, your uncles, your aunts, your family, all these people, do everything that you can to make them proud of you. Because they love you more than you will ever know. Let me tell you one thing, class of 2023. You sure did make everybody proud tonight. Congratulations, best wishes, and when you get out there, get after it. <laughs> 